All right, good afternoon. This is Lynx. This is a time of, let's see here, let's get this right here. I'm going to do something special for you guys. This is a time of full moon. It is a full moon related to uh, eighth house and Scorpio. Eighth house has to do with death, regeneration. Inheritance, transformation. So we're always posting, you know, those of us who, who who do cards, we're always posting, you know, daily throws or those posts where you, you know, you have, there's four cards laid out, and it's like, hey, pick pick which pile, and I'll come back later and tell you. What I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right now for you. You pick which pile, and I will tell you what you have to do right now to cause the transformation that you're wanting to cause or to get past the block that you're wanting to get past. Or um, to move past the obstacle that's standing in your way right now. So this is about blocks, obstacles, moving past what's standing in your way and transformation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking of, let's try five across. You pick which one you want. I'll interpret see the storm broken. No, I'm using my black cat oracle to me, baby. which I designed it is you based on certain archetypal energies to and to my knowledge of the mind and how the human mind works I like this one for helping people get past blocks because it tells me what their mental patterns are that are keeping them stuck as long as as well as the non-tangible energies so you pick which pile after I deal them out. We got one, two, three, four. Let's do five by five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That one's only got four in it. One, two, three, four, five. This one's got six in it. One, two, three, four. Here's the fifth pile. Two, three, four five that's about right so take a moment center yourself what i'm going to do is i am also going to deal a rune on it so while you're focusing on which pile you would like me to pick for you let me place a rune on each tell me something i know what that one is already i can feel that one And that one, those are all the rooms. So, all right, and what I can do is I can tell you, or I can put, um, I can put the time that each pile starts. So we're gonna start with the first pile, right? So if you pick the first pile, what information do you need to get past the obstacle, the current obstacle in your life? Here is, the rune we got is, okay, so this has to do with need. So this is the things that we need in our life, the needs that you have, dealing with needs. Let me put that together with what I'm getting here. Okay, so what I'm seeing already is two things. To move past the obstacles that are currently standing in your way. If you pick pile one, okay, this is what I got for you. First of all, be aware of the people that you're putting around you that you're surrounding yourself with. Your immediate circle should be your, your group of people who want to succeed, see you succeed and whom you wish to see succeed. Are the people in your immediate circle, the people that you surround yourself with, are they wanting you to succeed? And are you surrounding yourself with the kind of people who want you to be a success? Also, are you clinging to a family or a system or a unit simply because you believe it's what you must do, even if they do not want the best for you? Be very aware of who you spend your time with and what your motivations are for spending your time with them. The part that keeps you stuck to these people is you think that you cannot go your own way and make a new support network. What this is telling you here are the last two pieces are you're afraid that you won't be able to get your needs met if you walk away from this system or support network that you have actually built up for yourself. And this is saying 
you must have compassion for yourself and treat yourself with the same and give yourself the same advice you would a best friend and worrying about that is superstition so somehow this particular this particular group has convinced you that you can't succeed without them also do you think that you need to do it alone do you have some weird belief that you're going to do it all yourself because no one ever did it alone? So make sure that the people that you surround yourself with to help you get your needs and what it is that you want, make sure that they want to see you succeed and that you want to see them succeed and that their help is good help. Okay? And also, are you sticking to a group simply because you feel you're supposed to because you always did? All right, next one. If you picked pile number two, we've got breakthrough. So what will cause a breakthrough for you guys? We've got justice, which is Columbo. I've got laughing Buddha. I've got the pineapple. I've got desire or rapaciousness. That's the witches, actually, the three witches. And then I've got the star. So I'm gonna go with the pineapple in the middle and I'm gonna say that it, in order for you to make the breakthrough that you need to have, you need to lighten up. And uh, are you being suspicious of the right things? Are you being suspicious of those who really wanna do you harm, really wanna stand in your way? Or are you being suspicious of the things that can really help you? Are you convincing yourself simply because you're comfortable and you want it all to come to you that those things that come along after you've already made a wish, these two together means that you made a wish. The stuff that's coming along is actually here to help you lighten up don't take everything so seriously and ask yourself, are you being suspicious of the right things or the wrong things? Be suspicious of those things that would keep you stuck, that you've done before that haven't worked for you. Don't be suspicious of something simply because it's new and it's different because it looks like if you recognize that you made a wish and that you go through and follow through with what's coming your way, you're likely to make a breakthrough. Now, sometimes you have to be careful and if it sounds too good, sometimes it is. So, ask yourself, what behaviors have you taken in the past that have caused you suffering and problems? And are you repeating those? Those are the things you should be suspicious of, not the new ones that will put you in a new situation. Simply because it's uncomfortable doesn't mean that you need to be suspicious of it. Sometimes when we're wanting to make a change, when we're wanting to make a breakthrough, we are suspicious of the very thing that would do it because it feels so uncomfortable because we're so used to being stuck. All right. I don't want to hear anyone talking about how loud the music is. I like a good dance party when I'm doing readings for people. All right, here we go. Besides, these things should be a little higher energy and not so low energy. If you want to make change in your life, you got to get that energy active. You guys who picked the third pile, this is for you. Okay, so this has to do with spirit. Your spirit, and you guys are looking for signs, messages, and omens. Now there's only four in this one, so we've got the man, we've got uh, the wolf, we've got the man, we've got the hermit, and we've got the mala, which indicates faith. If you're looking for positive and uh, beneficial and deep spiritual growth, do not necessarily accept the words of the guy who's got the pretty the biggest car and the prettiest flash he isn't necessarily the one that's got the answer for you use discernment and a discriminating behavior if they're making nice pretty promises I've got him upside down or nice pretty promises sometimes sometimes it's not what you think it is so 
I suggest you guys go and watch that video I shot yesterday and posted yesterday, okay? Because that has to do with um, those who promise ascension without having to do anything. Sometimes you have to spend some time alone and really ask yourself some very hard questions to develop your faith in yourself. So the key to this one is it's time to start developing faith in yourself and look for those individuals who can help bring you back to yourself to ask you the questions that will really start to unlock you inside, not who make the quick promises, okay? All right. One, two, three, four. Those of you who picked pile number four, this one is for you. What do we got here? Okay, water. So this has to do with going with the flow, fluidity, and it feels like quenching your thirst. Okay, so things have been stop, start, stop, start, stop, start for you. There is no consistency in what you're doing because you are afraid to take the bigger risk. As things start to build, um, there are a lot of things that you allow get in your way. This is um, this can mean the voices in your head that have others have put before you. So you start to gain momentum. The voices of the past, the voices of things that have gotten in your way, get in the way of your momentum. So you'll start to move towards something. You start to make some success, and then you tell yourself, "Oh my gosh, what's going to happen?" Also, be careful about other people's gossip and other people's garbage and other people's um, backbiting. You don't need to make yourself a part of it. Um, and then this one is kind of mystic. This actually means that um, you really have to get yourself out of the way. There's no other way to say it. You have to learn techniques to be able to get yourself out of the way because the minute you start gaining momentum, there's self-talk self that inhibits it stops it from growing and cuts it off. The key to that is to be able to rise above the uncertainty because when you're uncertain about the situation, that's when the self-talk starts, right? So then you find yourself in a situation where you uh, cut, cut off the momentum you've already started and then you're not going, you're not flowing with it. So imagine how a river flows. Um, if the river has all these different you know, offshoots, the power of it will go in different directions. That's what's happening here with the birds. So you have to be able to get out of your own way so that you can ride the momentum of what you're creating and go with it instead of constantly standing in your own way and creating these offshoots where you end up over here, over here, over here. So be definite about your goal, where it is that you wanna go, know where it is you wanna go, and stick to it by getting yourself out of the way and allowing what you've started to change and happen to actually happen. That's what we got here with the jackal. All right, so number five, we got number five. For those of you who wanted number five, all right, here we got, um, okay, so we got a harvest happening here. So this is about you guys harvesting. Okay, so. What do you know? How can your curiosity take you further? What are you communicating to others? Are you aware of cause and effect? And how are you letting social pressure affect you? So if we put all these things together, um, don't let other people tell you that what you know, what you want, what you wish for is not valid. That's the first piece. Second piece, are you acknowledging everything that you know and how valuable it is? Um, if you want to try something new or create a bigger harvest, how can you ask yourself the questions that will help you to explore your curiosity? So for example, what if, why, how? Um, and then cause and effect here means uh, are you are you just closing your eyes and hoping for the best or are you actually planning it out? Are you actually planning out a decision and allowing it to go through without letting this is um, Are you knowing how to reach the people that you need to reach in order to be able to create the harvest? Uh, that you want to create so in other words you have a lot more at your disposal than you realize you do You know a lot more than you think you do and you're not using it because that can help you to build, with curiosity, creativity, and play, a much bigger set of offerings uh, to draw people to you to get what it is that you want. Now that has to do with love, that has to do with business, that has to do with health and wellness. What do you know 
that you're not bringing in the picture? How can you use a sense of curiosity and play to explore that more? And then how can you take all that and give a message to the people that you need to draw the people to you? So, for example, if you want to get out and meet people, what do you know that you're uh, what do you know that you're keeping to yourself that could actually draw more people to you? If you want to change and start a new business, what are the things that you know how to do that you could actually communicate, show people you know how to do to actually create new business for you? If you want to create um, if you want to create uh, deeper relationships, what part of yourself are you hiding or what messages are you hiding that could actually connect with the other people and deepen your relationship? So what do you know? Your knowledge. What knowledge do you have or do you need to learn and gain through curiosity, exploration, and play that will draw the people that you need, that you want, to you? So it's either that you're not using the knowledge you got or that there's more knowledge that you need to get to be able to draw the people to you. But I always say start, start with what you have. All right, start with what you have. All right, that's it. Happy full moon. That's a little reading for you guys. I told you guys I would be doing uh, some little reading giveaways and such. So I thought that would be a nice fun little way to... Um, uh, celebrate the full moon and to do the kind of reading here that is beyond just hey I'm gonna post a picture of the day's throw you have a wonderful full moon I am lucky links as always wishing you success and good fortune in all that you do if you would like to get a reading from me seven seven nine three zero two eight zero zero nine you know if you also if you want to get a hold of the black cat Oracle I can set you up there too um, if you would like to do one of my classes uh, conjure hope at gmail.com send me an email I'll give you all the details all right have a great full moon, enjoy it, and move past those blocks.